Now we're going to work on the supersternal notch. So now you need to change the orientation of your uh, sector to the point being to the top and down. So you have to flip it up down. All right. So the notch is going to be at the top facing up towards the ceiling. And oftentimes you'll have to remove the pillow and have the patient tip their chin up towards the ceiling so you can get into that notch. So you're gonna go right here in the middle and tip down towards the feet. And there you have the aortic arch. Here you can see it in the head neck vessels. There's three branches coming off right here. So you wanna take a 2D picture of this and then take it with color. And then here's where you're going to look for a PDA or coarctation of the aorta. So the isthmus is in this region. A PDA will be in this region as well. You will see it by color flow. So here we'll take a color picture and then we'll put in continuous wave looking for any increased flow in the descending aorta. And you can measure that descending aorta max pressure gradient there. You'll also pulse wave. And then you want to try to assess the ascending aorta. Oftentimes in smaller children, this is the best view to get aortic stenosis gradients. So here it's red coming towards the transducer. You can take a picture of that and then put in continuous wave and this is above the baseline. So it's going away or towards us. So that's ascending aorta right there and aortic valve. Once you've gotten those, now we're gonna do the supersternal sweep. So what you do is you have your transducer with your uh, notch facing up at 12 o'clock and you're going to tip over to the right shoulder so you're going to rock the tail of the transducer towards your left and the footprint is going towards the right shoulder and you might have to dip in slightly so rock your tail up because what this is like a flashlight so you're going to look over at the SVC. Here you can see the SVC and if you aren't sure you can put on color and you can see that low wave pattern color pattern there you know that's venous flow because it's low velocity low flow and what you do is you're going to take your transducer and you're going to rock the tail towards the right shoulder and the footprint over to the left shoulder and we're going to do a tracheal sweep so here we go so here is the SBC and you're going to slowly there's ascending aorta tip up here is the tracheal rings right here, the striated lines. You want to see that before the end of the uh, descending aorta. This proves that it is a left arch. So again, RSVC, ascending aorta, tracheal rings, descending aorta. If you see tracheal rings after the descending aorta, then you know it's a right aortic arch. So you do this by 2D showing that, and then by color, SBC, ascending aorta, tracheal rings, down. You don't want to see any color after the descending aorta. This is very important because you can find an LSVC over here. There'll be blood flow coming down towards the LA. Uh, you can find double aortic arches, all sorts of things. So there's a lot of information you get from a good tracheal sweep. Now that we've gotten this view, you can also demonstrate if there is a bovine arch. She has three vessels coming off, so she, her arch is not bovine, but you'll see one common trunk and then two arches, you'll know it's bovine. Here is the right uh, pulmonary artery. Here would be a coarch site. If there was um, a small isthmus, you can see hers is widely painted. This is isthmus right here with the posterior shelf. If there was an issue with the PDA closure, um, here also you might see a PDA come in in this view. Now we're gonna go clockwise and the notch is gonna be towards me. And we're gonna look down. So now we're at a, sag or a transverse view. So now we have the vein coming this way. Now in the vein we have the aorta here. And if we tip down in a, in a baby, here's aorta, here's main pulmonary artery. You'll see branch PAs coming here and this is left atrium. So here we can tip down into this and this is where we look for pulmonary veins. I 
from babies, it's a lot prettier. It's a lot easier to see. But here is one pulmonary vein right coming in here, blues dipping in here. So those are those can be tricky, and we'll work on that. That's more of an advanced imaging thing. And up here are your pulmonary arteries, branch PAs. So there's RPA, LPA. Here you could see potentially right flow going this way. That's a PDA by the LPA. So we have assessed that. And now we're gonna do branching, so arch branching. This is also gonna be difficult for you guys to get at first, but you gotta just stick with it. So what you do is you take your short axis view and you're, here's the aorta and you come up and here's the first for the brachiocephalic branch and you follow it up, up, up and you watch it split. So this can be tough to do. So up, 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 split. What you're doing is you're proving that there's no aberrant subclavian artery. So up here, split. You'll do that with color. There. You can see the two circles splitting. So if you have, if you have an aberrant subclavian artery, a right aberrant subclavian, these will not split because the subclavian will come off a different part of the, the aortic uh, arch. All right, that's the end of scanning.